thousands could be trapped alive in collapsed buildings on the Indonesian island city of Padang, which is home to 900,000 people. Authorities say untold numbers of homes, hotels, schools and shops have crumbled to the ground. What we're hearing from Padang is uh, sporadic and difficult to communicate. Communications are down, but what we have heard is that this was a huge earthquake and there has been significant damage. There are obviously large numbers dead and injured, and we expect those numbers to increase as uh, daylight breaks. Victims say the 7.6 magnitude quake made the ground shake so hard, people outside had to sit down on the street to avoid falling over. Rescuers don't fully know the extent of the damage left by the quake. It's still too early. Landslides have cut off roads, electricity and power lines, further isolating the people who need help the most. Thousands of quake victims are spending the night out in the open for lack of shelter. The nation's leaders are warning the death toll could rise substantially. There will be challenges primarily to get aid into the city. Uh, we'll have to look at air, land. The other neighboring provinces are 10 hours by road. At least two hospitals are rumored to have been destroyed, and a number of sharp aftershocks sent a wave of panic through the city in the early evening. The quake hit the same fault line that caused 2004's Asian tsunami that killed over 230,000 people. A tsunami warning was issued but later cancelled. This region's often shaken by earthquakes, but officials say this quake has left them preparing for an emergency response that could last months. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Beijing.